thanks for staying with us. So yesterday we started discussion on the issue that went viral about the young girl who was bullied by her colleagues in school. There has been several actions taken from yesterday till now. And one of it is that the school was shut down for three days uh, by the Minister of Women Affairs, Dr. Uju Kennedy Ohaneyem, who visited the school almost immediately after the incident was made public. Now, we we'll, would we'll like to get your thoughts on this and what happened afterwards. But since the ladies of your view here went here and we discussed, I'd also like to hear your views on the initial video of that bullying that happened. You can also join the conversation 080, um, 0801 You can also tweet to us at TVC. Can I please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweet. Before we go to the shutting down of the school, um, when you saw the video, the initial video of those slaps, the bullying, I'd like to hear your own thoughts. I know Nima wasn't here, you weren't here, none of you were here yesterday. Let me start with Nima. What came to mind when you saw that video? So many emotions. Even just relieving it, you well, so many emotions from, why are you not even fighting back to, oh, there's a possible gang up. Somebody was making a video, there was a boy sitting there. And just, so possibly there was some other thing the girl feared. Maybe this gang of people have enabled themselves. Because some people enabled the perpetrator <coughs> to the point she could do that. You know, they sort of led her to go and do it. Don't worry, we'll get your back. We'll deal with you, kind of thing. And there's a possible bigger danger. So we've seen people accuse um, students of in bodies called poison. We've, uh, they've seen all that kind of, you know, uh, fights. And I totally, totally, completely, with all my body, blame that school. Mm. Because when you manage children, you must be on top of your game. Baga. If you cannot be on top, please don't be. How can that happen for that length of hour? No one, mm. no, no one teacher, Nobody Chris Wakai, reached the point. I said it. Till the video was, for the entire length of that video, not one teacher passed. Passed. Mm. Sick. Mm. Say, why are we not quiet for that place? What's happening there? Nobody. You know, so for me, a lot of things <clears throat> that, you know, welled up in me right. for watching that video. I remember quickly, because I dropped off my daughter as the video was, and I was quickly... You know that uh, every parent yesterday hey. had that conversation. My hey. when, I, when, I, when, I, when I go home, I was asking my daughter, so, are you being bullied? Said, Mommy, I'll teach us everything. That's all they discuss in school today. Please, I don't want to hear anything. <laughs> the teacher, the principal, everybody had meetings. <laughs> and the other kids who came home, yeah. same thing in our school, bullying. Mommy, we are not being bullied, please. <laughs> everybody had that conversation. Oh, yeah. oh this yeah. incident yeah. happened yeah. in my daughter's school last term. The most senior prefect is her mentor. So they give you, as you're in just one, you have a mentor, scholar, yeah. and all of that. So yeah. she has a mentor, and she and her mentor fell out. Mentor says she was correcting her, and she was flaring up. She wasn't, and then she slapped her. Banga. Mm -hmm. If you hear the audio that I sent, I told them, I said, can you give this love out? I'm not afraid of anybody. And I'm picking fight at the fight. If you hear the audio I sent, you won't think I was talking to a child. Mm. I threatened everything. Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> okay, pause, pause, you pause, pause. So, you're yeah, my sister, you're my sister. <laughs> pause. Amaka, what are you for me? You're here yesterday. So you know, we have fight, we, you know, today we have fighters in the house. So, what do you mean? so let me let mean? me come down small. So I was really appalled by that video, of yeah. course I was. And then I and I, I was thinking that schools these days with modern technology, I want to believe that they have CCTV cameras and they have people that are paid to watch those CCTV cameras to know what's going on around the school premises yeah. and the parameters of the school. And, and I want to believe that that's why they also charge parents exorbitant hey. fees okay. to make sure that their kids, when they go to school, that they are safe yeah. at every point yeah. in time. And then it also made me question the kind of parents that are raising kids I want to inflict harm mm. on another person. Mm. I wonder the state of mind of these children. I wonder what they are seeing at home. I want, as in, as in, a lot of things went through my mind. And then, and the, it also made me realize that parents also need to teach their kids self-defense. Before you send your child out there, make sure you enroll your child for self-defense uh, 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 this thing class. Because why should someone just sit down and take that kind of beating? If you punch you, I give you 20. Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's so, 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 is a fighter too. So, <laughs> so we've heard your views on the video. Now let's go, let's fast forward now to what's happened in the last 24 hours. Because um, the minister, um, Dr. Um, <laughs> just uh, 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 women affairs. Yeah, yeah. women affairs. Just um, mm -hmm. uh, went there yesterday and shut down the school for three days. Yeah, Dr. Uju Kennedy, he came back to me. Mm -hmm. um, she, she went there to shut down the school for three days, and while investigation is being done. Now the question is, 
why do you have to shut down the school? And before we come to UBC, mm -hmm. is it always necessary to shut down? When, when something happens, mm -hmm. are you trying to be seen, to be working, to be working. or um, is, was it you, necessarily, you to was, it, was it required mm -hmm. to shut down the school? That's one. Secondly, let me, let me start with that before we yeah. go to the next week. So I think that's a reactive measure, like every other thing in this country where we don't know how to be proactive. So when things happen, you just quickly, okay, let's close this one down. Let's shut this one down. Let's shut this one up, you know, but you have not really gotten deep into uh, finding the root cause and finding a lasting solution for the problem. Um, I would believe that before shutting the school down, because this thing happened which did not concern many of the students and also many of the teachers who are supposed to be having time to do their learning. They're supposed to be in their classrooms. Uh, there's curriculum to be taught and everything. Uh, the first thing shouldn't have been to shut the total school down. And now you shut the school down. You have not told us what you want to do going forward. You've not told us the kind of investigation you need to carry out if there is a need for an investigation because that video was so explicit mm -hmm. yes it was very plain you already know who to call and by the time you yeah. start holding the students you are going mm -hmm. to be calling all their aides and their mates and all the people that supported mm -hmm. the plan so I, i'm sure it's something that had been going on they will also lead you because children once you catch them they start mm -hmm. telling the truth they really do not have ulterior motive like adults that will be hiding things they would spill the beans and everybody would just be you know dealt with so you have not told us how you're going to be handling that you went mm. straight to shutting down the school which would be affecting a whole um you know other aspects yeah. of the school i think that's a wrong move uh tell us what you want to do tell us if you need to do an investigation tell us the kind of investigation you're going to be doing tell us the kind of therapy these children are going to be put into what support are you giving as a government? What are you holding the school accountable for? The teachers who are supposed to be, uh, do, do they even have enough teachers? So this is a lot of investigation that will be done. Do they have enough supervisors that would go around the school, you know, to monitor, like you said, yes, and I said that same thing yesterday, that there's no way a school as big as that, and I'm sure their school fees is enormous, yeah. to not have uh, 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 teachers or housemasters mm -hmm. who we parade from time to time just to make sure that mm -hmm. things are all right. Mm -hmm. So tell us the number of uh, teachers you have. Are you lacking teachers? Are you lacking supervisors? Do you have a guidance counseling mm -hmm. person who sees all of this? The individual teachers of the children, have they noticed this sort of behavior yeah. even mm -hmm. in the classroom? Mm -hmm. Because kids do not know how to mask that much. Mm -hmm. so, and again, if you so give us it, all those details. Well, I wanted to respond to what possibly could be happening in the three days shutdown that mm -hmm. the school is going, um, is going through. Just as I felt that, you know, the school is most culpable. Mm -hmm. The minister might think this school is most culpable and want to investigate the systems with the school as used to, you know, de deal with issues like this. Like Amaka mm -hmm. mentioned, do they really have a working CCTV system? Maybe they are projecting to parents that we are lead British, we have, we have everything. And they don't really have one. Maybe the minister wants to see if they have that system, what are the working conditions of the teachers because you know most of these kind of schools they say power teachers teachers no longer work in parenting's position in these schools most we saw the qc one where parent led their child to the school to go and beat up teacher yeah you know so we've disempowered the teachers so much three things we, we feared growing up our our parents yeah, our teachers our, teachers, our uh, maybe uh, religious leaders because we would have went to lake if I used to be silly out <laughs> of us, <laughs> you know, and we had that system where those people were empowered. I used to fear my aunties when they say, I will tell your mommy, they mark my wrong mommy, because if my auntie was lying, nobody would ask my side of the story. Mm. So we had those systems yeah. put in place to check children. And if the school run a system where they claim they are British and now they are bringing British inside, teacher cannot talk. Uh -huh. And then maybe they have some selected parents. We see situations where there are students that are you know, uh, royalties in mm. school because their parents are the highest donors. Mm. We had or such issues. Politicians, yeah, politicians, politicians and children. You know. So because the way these children carried out this thing, ah, it ah so, you know. there was power behind these children. Nothing yes. can happen. Yes, right. like nothing can happen. This is not the first video I've seen of that school, but I'm mm. not going to stress yes. on the so, other okay, one. So but this one, the kids who made the video, the mm. kids who sat around yes, this. Yes. They are witnesses. Nobody nobody's talking stood about up that. Among those children to nobody's say no. talking about it. Nobody yeah. stood up among the children to say, it's enough. They are nobody felt the need. Yes. All of them felt if we Accessory don't go to, the crime. Mm. to this person, yeah. we will all fall out of so this. That's why the reports yeah. have come out from the school, from the kids, that yeah. it's not the first time. It's always mm. happened. And in fact, yeah. even, even after yesterday, yes. there was more videos coming out saying that, listen, this is a normal thing that happened. So maybe they are used to this. But let's go to shop. When we come back, you continue the conversation. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Thanks for staying with us. We're still discussing the bullying that happened in Leeds, British, uh, 
International School in Abuja. And we're looking at all the various angles. There's another angle we didn't discuss yesterday, which is really crucial, is the content of the conversation these kids were having about relationships. And I think it was very black man or very dark man. Mm -hmm. I was saying, put, a, put out a video that we're all focusing on the bully, but forgetting the content of what they're saying, mm -hmm. that these are probably the kids that have nudes on their photo phones. They're talking about relationship. Who broke my heart? You know, I, I stopped the relationship. They're talking about boyfriend, girlfriend, these kids. Now, we cannot pretend as if we didn't have this mm. um, boyfriend, girlfriend problems in, in secondary in school. Time, when in our own time, certainly mm. we did. Mm. But social media wasn't, then, uh, wasn't there then. But the fact that some of these kids haven't, we've, we've not, we've not, we're only talking about the bullying, we're not focusing on what these kids are actually engaged with. Mm. It could be much more right. than meets the eye. That we have refused to. So maybe that's part of the investigation. That who is who is dating who? Mm. What is going on? What led to this beating in the first place? So can I? No, sir. Let me let me let me okay. have a jump. Okay. So uh, the first question I want to ask is: um, Is this a boarding school or a day school? Because from I think it's a boarding school, right? Either way. I think. Either way. Okay. Yeah. So because like if you're closing this, if something happens and you're closing the school for three days, first of all, you're putting all the kids at risk by like sending them back and forth. You're not putting the, the parents um, into consideration, their schedule. Kids just went back to school. Yeah. You know, their schedule and everything, going back and forth to take these kids back to school and then bring them back again after three days, right? You're also um, um, giving these children the room to go sort their, their stories out in case they want to lie, mm. in case there's something, there's a deeper issue. I think that they shouldn't have shut the school down. They should have allowed everyone to stay present at the school Let's and handle the investigation yeah. within the school. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Instead of giving them time, even for, for some of the bullies, their parents will now tutor, uh, okay. tutor them mm -hmm. on what to, to do, respond. what to say with their lawyers and everything, how to respond. Mm -hmm. So shutting down the school, I, don't, I think, to me, is a bad idea, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, um, they shouldn't have done that. All right, so the other the, 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 the yeah. part so of the content... <laughs> A child, um, you know, having a boyfriend, suffering a heartbreak and all of that. Her parents, I want to assume, because mm. I thought that the school was, you know, a school where the kids would go, home, go back home. Mm. So let's, as, let's even assume it was a boarding school. Those are things that the parents should be concerned about. The parents are the ones who will find out the nudes and all of that. What concerns everybody is the one that leaves one parent's house to another, which is bullying. That's the good basis. If my child were to come home to me and say, ah, one child, I will not blame the school entirely. I will be wondering what the parent was doing. Because we are always trying to ask kids at home, what do you feel? What do you, you know, trying to find out if our kids are already okay. having those feelings mm -hmm. as they are growing into teenagers yeah. and they all of that. Those are what things parents bother about. But when your child takes their bad behavior and affects the life of another, it becomes an issue, the school, the PTA, and everybody would start to address. Let me now come to the issue of the adult that beat up the child. One of the parents, are they either the auntie or the I have not like... finished boyfriend and girlfriend. Oh, no, we've not finished. Yes, Even yes, 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 I still yes, have yes, something to say on that. Yes, I've missed Nima, so I'm just yeah. enjoying yeah. her. Yeah. Yeah. What are your thoughts on uh, that? Yes, yeah, so um, when it comes to teenagers, we need to be mm. very realistic and factual. You mm. can't take away mm. their feelings mm -hmm. and how they respond to their feelings. Mm. All you can do is... From very early, you start grooming them mm. to recognize those feelings, name those feelings, communicate to you about those feelings, mm. and then you help them understand how to manage those feelings. Yeah. Mm. But to say, ah, the content of what they're talking about, we need to go, de you're deceiving yourself. Mm. Okay, Even if it out. doesn't come out here, it will come out later. Mm. You think you can really stop them from listening to some things. Mm. The worst you can do is take away their gadgets. Mm. When they get to school, they have conversations. We didn't have gadgets when we were growing mm -hmm. up. So, but we had magazines, we're talking. Yeah. Yeah. There's this... A uh, local magazine. I'm trying to remember the name. Mm. This bald Mills guy. No, not the one. Mills and Boom was later. No, Mills and Boom. Uh, is it bald guy? Mm. That's you know, it was a Nigerian comic that was very, very sexual. He said, that yeah. he was uh, parodied in our schools. Rid 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 said hits. No, th there was Dauda. That one is Dauda something. I think so. Yeah. Bald guy. Bald guy. I the, oh, you've already. Uh, uh, I didn't read it. I <laughs> To catch it so before. you no, cannot no. stop young people who are still understanding their bodies. Your only job is to help them manage it because it will come. We cannot close our eyes to it. Mm -hmm. I always ask, and I'm happy that I'm able to have conversations with my daughter. Mm -hmm. My son shuts me that out. When, once I bring that matter up, mm -hmm. he finds a way to laugh and run away. He shuts me. Mm -hmm. I've been begging his father, have this conversation with him. Talk to him. Mm -hmm. He may be able to open up and everything. But with my daughter, we have a very good relationship. He will tell me when a boy is checking her. He will tell me, she will tell me when the boy is checking her. She will tell me 
me her the response. Is of sexual mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. She would tell me, and then I would give her some tips on how to respond and how to do this and how to do that. Mm -hmm. We would always have that. Yeah. So we cannot say, ah, that's the big thing they are talking about. They are supposed to talk about it. Mm -hmm. What else are they going to talk okay. about? Mm -hmm. They should read all through their lives. By the time yeah. they get to 20-something, now we start rushing the ways. Why, 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 why it's important. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Because when we did it, we did it because it was a natural thing to do at the time. Mm -hmm. But because of, your age. of the tools they have, where mm -hmm. they are sharing nudes mm -hmm. with each other, mm -hmm. it's an important conversation to have because yes. these kids are empowered. Mm -hmm. We didn't have the opportunity to be sending We shared magazines. No, no, but you didn't go in and we bring you know other friends. And we no, because yes. and phones as things no. that the PT I, and the school yes. allow the kids to so have. Oh, yes. Exactly. So, those, yeah. so I'm just saying, these are bigger conversations. So mm. aside from the fact that I just like you, I have yeah. digits in my yeah. stomach, mm. these tools are empowering these kids to yes. do a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, that's going yes. for Because a lot, yeah. a lot of guys will tell you, they see mm. things on social media, on Twitter, yeah. people posting yeah. things, and you're yeah. wondering, who are the parents of these kids? Exactly. That's one angle. Yeah. The other angle is, the other, the, the adults, who confronted the all mm. parents showed up? I think mm. it was Monday or Tuesday, showed mm. up at the school, mm. and one of them slapped the girl. Mm. And people are now saying, like, Why would you slap a child? Mm. But the auntie of the. Is it her auntie? <laughs> no, 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 her auntie. auntie. Mm. Her auntie. Her own auntie. auntie. Yes. The, the, she was the one confronting girl. the perpetrator, confronting her. Mm. And in that, you can see further provocation of the act itself. So, yeah. having seen the video, even me, yeah. I can only imagine what kind of emotions yes, will come it, 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 if I were to mm. see the perpetrator. Okay. So, I just mentioned that, that the kind of threat audios I sent mm. to my daughter's mm. uh, school. The entire school, I, I remember saying to the other mistress, please put your phone on record. If you cannot, I will mm. send you a WhatsApp audio. I wanted it to go viral. I don't, I don't lose control. So okay. this auntie, have you watched her niece being abused? Saw the perpetrator and the confrontation happened. The moment she dares her, they get the done. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Nima, is I'm it right? Saying, Does it make it right? right. Yeah, an adult slapping a child. Right. Right. Are we pretentious? Okay. We're not being pretentious. Okay, let me explain. We're being adults. See, I'm, ag I'm agreeing with you. Personally, the ideal is no adult should touch a child. Yes. No, uh, hey. The rules should be across But we call, in communal upbringing, adults, they adults touch children. They, they, they correct anywhere. They anyway. <laughs> correct her. Okay, but... Let me tell you the thing. We're only addressing it because it was from the victim's auntie. Yeah. Imagine that the parents of the child beat her in school. We go greet yes, them. Thank you. The parents. Hey, yeah. we let me say, say, let, say, let, let me let me see, come in. Let, let the me. school itself don't have a beating policy. Okay, wait, let That's let me, why this let is me, let me, let me, let me, you know, let me, let me come in here. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to talk about um, when uh, I'm going to answer her in two parts. First of all, when she talked, when you talked about um, um, s um, sexual conversations. Yes having to do their personal, having to do with parenting, right? Mm -hmm. from, your, uh, from each person's household. Yes. I beg to differ because there's something called peer pressure, okay? I might not um, want to do something, and then I go to school, and I wasn't brought up in that way, and I go to school, and I have friends, because whether I like it or not, your friends or your circle of friends have a level of influence over you, yeah. especially as young people. <laughs> and then I might see them doing that thing, and I go put eye for that thing, what did they do? And I want to see, I want to do, I want to try, okay? And then most times, for kids, the first call of response to them in terms of advice is always amongst a circle of friends. Yeah. Yeah, true. So if something is going on, it's just still amongst. So you saying that it's individual when it comes to that sexual talk, everything, I beg to differ. Yeah. So it has to be a response, like communal response from friends, from um, the circle of friends, from, school, from the school well, yeah. and then the parents, right? In the situation whereby if your child has a circle of friends, you should try as a parent to know the the parents of your kids because then it helps you know what kind of character or personality that they have and so you 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 helps you to block um the influence that is having on your child that's the first part then the second part in terms of um, an adult beating the child it's different if that parent was present when that bullying was taking place like you know when something is happening and then there's a reflex action of the parents or an adult now hitting the child like to stop that yeah. to stop that right then People might not really um, have, an, uh, have a certain reaction to that reflex. But when this is a thought, for me, when it's a thought out thing where time has passed, where the parents now came to the school. Now, what did you do for the first time that moment? So that minute, that, I'm, that, can I, well, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah, but we're coming from, obviously, I'm a lawyer, and we're coming from every, from all, yes, we're coming from every perspective. Do you understand? Yes. So it's different that there was a reflex action in the situation when the situation happened than when, and, and after reaction, yeah. when they were coming to the school, to see, when they were coming to the school, right, and you're shouting on the child, and then you hit that child. That's whether I like it or not, she assaulted that child. Okay. 
No, 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 I never finish. I never finish. Let me land. Let me land. Do you understand? So what that lady, whether she likes it or not, she assaulted that child. Regardless of what the child or the crime that was committed by that child, there was an assault. Okay, simple. In Nigeria, all of us assault everybody. And as far as I'm concerned, in this matter, if I no, no, listen now. Listen. Listen, leave right and wrong. If we go culturally, like Nima rightly said, we raised the, we were raised together. You misbehave, you are collecting Everybody before you get collecting. to your own house. Mm -hmm. And one auntie on the street has caught you somewhere. They are giving you and they drag you home. Your parents will continue with it. Mm -hmm. And Shebi, we claim we turned out well. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. In this matter too, I'm helping to correct the brain so that the girl will have a test of her own medicine. One Thank slap, you. I will not give one slap. Let me tell you. How many will you give? Eh? As I'm, I'm slap Wait, oh, no. As I'm seeing the child, uh, collect one. The mother of the child, we collect one. The father of the child, we hey, collect one. The we principal, have fighters. we collect. The teachers, we collect. You know why? All of you were there when my child was abused like this. Times. When we now finish collecting, when I finish now, giving uh, to them, uh, we now sit down finish. and now calm so, down. We now uh, meditate. Uh, 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 now we get a lawyer like you uh, to come and, come and be explaining okay, the way now, forward. Let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me come here for a second because this is sometimes I get emotions. We hear the emotions mm. and that's what that and i like to bring you guys back to mm. what i always say on this table mm. we must not pick and choose mm. what we want um how civil we want to be in this country am i picking you up? see there are situations where we were in in, in, in the olden days mm. in the african way of doing things i agree with you mm. there's a tribal thing of way how we as africans be, mm. to behave mm. we go to ballet you go to the Oba, and there's a problem, he resolves it, and he uses emotions. Okay, she has apologized. Okay, forgive her. Do this one. You do. You know, we have a way. And then, there's a justice system mm -hmm. that is blind. There's a, that thing that says, mm -hmm. I don't look at you. I don't care about how you're crying, mm -hmm. how you watch. I don't look at your emotions. I'm going by the fact. And that, and that goes by the emblem of the, the, the judiciary. Exactly. They are blind to emotions. Mm -hmm. What are the facts on ground? Mm -hmm. The facts on ground is that she's a child. Yes. She's a minor. Yes. You're yes. an adult. Yes. You have the right to yes. assault an adult because she did wrong. Absolutely. Yes. And yes. you fix the problem. Yes. But you have slapped her. It yes. is wrong. Yes. Yes. I have the law. It is yes. wrong. It is wrong. So you cannot say, so we yes. are different. We, we are, yeah. So we can use the, the African culture. Uh, ah, I, I don't care. Yes. I will slap yes. I am angry. Yeah. I am fighting. Because there are other we ways to assess punishment. We can go we and see the lies. Yeah. What yeah. Abaka was brought. measuring here was the standard of provocation. And I'm saying that provocation is still subsisting. She was confronting the perpetrator. The standard of provocation is it's an assault. We're not talking of uh, murder here. Yes, you see, yes. murder cases, they even stem it and say it was premeditated. Uh, we have gone back that. to react and all of that. Like that. In assault cases, you can see the damage and, be, and still be in provocation, and the court will measure it. Yeah. No, that, that is standard if it was the case. Even if it was, it is one, it was the, case it was the person that was assaulted. Yeah, even if it is one, we cannot even talk in 24 hours in provocation, in assault cases. Mm -hmm. Go and check. There are several precedents. They vary. Precedents vary. And you can be the lawyer for the perpetrator and I'll be that for the victim. And I will fly with my, my okay. provocation. The auntie was confronting the perpetrator. And you see, as she spoke, her voice went, her pitch yeah. kept going up. She was hurt. And she was hurt by the straight ah. face the, vic the perpetrator kept. Ah, very calm. Calm face that she kept. It was until the days are twine. She <laughs> done. So well, I'm not being see. Sometimes I want to be a mother, live lawyer. Let me be a mother. I'm yes. a mother. Wait. Yes. See, oh, yeah. my I... first case that I received Wait. happened in the morning yeah. in school. Yeah. She waited till she could access a phone from the hostel mistress yeah. to report to me. Do you think that provocation would have been premeditated? I did start okay, yes, I'll say the reaction. So there's no I'll measurement. You want to respond? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks for calling, madam. This is Adeyemo. Hello, Mrs. Adeyemo, you're live. Okay. Okay. okay, go ahead. Hello? Hello? We can hear you. Please go ahead. Okay. I'm Mr. I'm calling from Benny State. Yes. I need volume, please. I want to, I want, I want to contribute. Yes, go ahead. You're live. I am a mother before I will become a lawyer. There's nobody in his right hand that I expect that woman to take his camp. In fact, yesterday I said so far, I said that you see the gay and tear. I said terrible because... That woman, the mother or the father of that child, must have spent for the child. Maybe they can Only hear in the studio. Know what that they they can to. So I thought, I'm even angry with the other woman talking about being patient, being suing the other woman as a lawyer. What lawyer? Who will take it? I'm even angry because this kind of thing happens to my daughter when she was in secondary school. I know how I felt and I know my reaction. Thank God for the doctor that she followed me up very well. Please tell that woman to drop that case about being a lawyer. We are first mother before we become a lawyer. Thank you.
Yeah. Yes. Something quickly yes. before yes. you yeah. jump in. Mm. So I don't see that as an assault. Mm. I see that as training. Mm. Teachers beat. Maybe that school they don't beat. Mm. But we don't say the teacher mm. has assaulted the child. Mm. We say the teacher is using corrective measures. And mm. that is what I believe the court will use. We're trying to correct. Mm. Well, and also testing. That. Because uh, if you mm. have given out mm. and you don't know how it feels when mm. you receive it, you, you receive need to have a test. Are you so are you trying to say so not from another side? Are you trying to say can I respond? Can I respond? So imagine that woman came and slapped me. And that child rather, drops that woman come, slap her mother. Thank you very much. Slap her father. Slap her that, that child. Touch that child. That's my only child. Don't touch the child. No, can't. No, no. Can I? 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 Or, or punishments that can be done, um, or can be given. I'm coming with And then let me say, uh, uh, and uh, let me correct what you said in terms of saying one week and assault cases and everything. It's different if it's the assault, assaulted victim that is responding mm. to the assault, not a third party. Do you understand? So please don't 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 say that by saying that. Oh, that uh, that is that, that is correct. If I'm an assaulted victim and I respond to that assault, the, then the I am escorted. I am coming. Let me let me land now. Unfortunately, ah, they have to wrap up. If it is the mother or father and call, uh -huh. the third party. So the most important thing is that if it was the assaulted victim, a, the court will make uh, right? a no. That is no, no, no. That is not true. That is a third party to assaulted a child. And now we have to lawyers in this place now. Yes. We cannot speak no <laughs> we have to go on a break. We have no. to go, but I think really in a nutshell, uh, we're happy that the Minister of Women Affairs um, is on top of this and they're investigating. We hope the school will be reopened soon so that the other students who have nothing to do with this can mm -hmm. get back to their schoolwork and then the school does exactly what they're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Let's go on a short break. When we come back from home with the show, stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.